Hello everyone, I hope you all are doing great. In today's tutorial, I am gonna share a new Proteus library for sound sensor. You can download this library from the link given in the description of this YouTube video. When you click on that link, you will come to this page on our blog from where you can easily download this library. Uh, in order to download this library, you have to click this button, Download Proteus Library. And you will get a zip file here. In this zip file, you will find this folder, Sound Sensor Library TEP. And in this folder, you will get these three library files, .lib, .idx and .hex. You have to place all these three files in the library folder of your Proteus software. So I am gonna browse to my Proteus software folder. Here we have Lab Center Electronics and then Proteus 7 Professional. And you will find this library folder in the Proteus 7 Professional folder. So I'm gonna place all these three files in this library folder. So I'm gonna click OK. As I already have these files in my library folder, so I'm gonna click Yes to All. Now I have to restart my Proteus software. In the component section, you have to make a search for sound sensor. And you can see here, I have created these three version of the sound sensor. It's basically a sound detector sensor. The first one is in black color, the second one is in red and the last one is in blue color. So we have these three sound sensors now available in our Proteus database. Uh, I forgot to add the third one. So now I'm gonna place all these sensors in my workspace here. So I'm gonna work on this blue one. Now we have to provide VCC. Here we have this power 5 volt. And next we are gonna connect this ground. And at the out pin, I'm gonna place some LED. I will also need a resistance. And then we have this LED. And at the end of this LED we have to place another ground. One more thing we need to add here is logic straight. And I'm gonna place this logic state here and we'll connect it with test pin. In Proteus, we can't actually create any sound. That's why I have placed this test pin so whenever this test pin is low, that means we are not getting any sound or noise in the surroundings. And if this test pin is high, that means our sensor is detecting some noise or sound. 
now the last thing we need to do is we need to place our hex file in this sound sensor so I have double clicked it to open its properties panel and here in the program file section I have to browse to my hex file which we have downloaded in the first step and placed it in the library folder and here we have this sound sensor library tp dot hex so I'm gonna click open and now we have this hex file in our program file section now clicking OK uh, now our simulation is ready to run so I'm gonna click this play button and you can see we are not detecting any sound in the surrounding so if you want to detect some sounds so we have to click this hi and you can see here our LED is not turning on so I have to stop it double click this LED and here in the model type you have to change this analog to digital click OK I'm gonna turn it off so right now we have no sounds in the surroundings so that's why our out pin is low now I'm gonna change the logic state from 0 to 1 and we can see our LED is now in on state so that means our sensor is now detecting some sounds in the surroundings so I'm turning it off again and again it's high so that's how you can easily simulate your sound detector sensor in Proteus I hope you have enjoyed this tutorial we'll see you guys in next tutorial till then take care bye bye